All right, hello, everybody. The daily update, my 1,000 day challenge. This is day 560. Right, just give me a minute. All right, so the day 554, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, balance remain the same, but actually I have uh, two losses for experimental trades that I'll update after this one. But otherwise, nothing much of a, too much of a concern. So one of the experimental trades that I would say was actually in my issue itself because I entered late. So I actually have a much tighter stop loss than what I would normally. And because they end up, and because of that, actually trigger my stop loss. So that is something that's definitely not recommended because it's always good to key to stay to your initial plan of stop loss and not moving it up in order to keep the risk to reward there in that perspective or if you have actually missed the trade like earlier today so i missed two trades itself so you just have to leave it because you really missed the setup and you have to wait for a new setup to form in that particular case all right otherwise uh, in terms of overall bullish market wise perspective i would say us market wise is tentatively neutral so even though uh, the Nasdaq itself is below the 200 day simple moving average same goes for S&P yesterday. But bear in mind that we are not seeing strong sell of pressure, even though price has been remaining below that. So what I do see now is that we are much more likely to consolidate for a short period of time at least. And until a very nice consolidation pattern has formed, then the break towards either direction itself will be more likely to swing or continue towards that momentum direction itself. So that's the current situation I see. Overall, ASHR and KWM itself is tentatively a little bit more bearish, especially for ASHR yesterday actually closed below. But fortunately, it actually breaks back above, which is... Uh, Quite a little bit unexpected in fact you actually get up above so that's not necessarily the confirmation that you want to see if you were looking for further bearish momentum in that sense so that's something to bear in mind so i'm not as bearish after seeing today opening in that perspective itself and then in terms of KWAM itself, I would say it still remains neutral, consolidating an extremely tight consolidation zone. we we'll bring in either direction, especially maintaining it for more than a single day in that particular direction itself would lean towards further uh, confirmation that you will be more likely to go towards that direction, that perspective. And finally, for Bitcoin itself, I did enter a long setup. So yeah, basically, it was this candle close itself. Yes, the MACD cross over itself over here. So I did enter. This was basically uh, using both because price action. Why I did say that I was seeing it concaving here, which was definitely a good sign. And then the bounce and close right above here, which you can see the close was at uh four two five four zero. And yeah, and that is above the 20 exponential moving average, which is 42502. So even though it's not a very distinct row, the volume itself is also not extremely high, but it's decent enough for me to enter. And I put a stop loss right below the swing low over here. So potentially you could choose to take profit right now, which will still be a decent good risk to real setup. But right now I'm just uh, moving up my trailing stop loss to over here. So if we actually do not hit over the top over here itself, then I will just make a break even trade in this particular perspective. And if it does actually continue towards the upside, I will just take 50% profit and then see how high we can break. If we do break, uh, bear in mind that I do see a shift in terms of the funding rate for futures as well. So definitely if there is a further sell-off, that could potentially be affected by futures, especially if the funding rate was to be too high, going to show that there's too much long setup in that particular perspective. So funding rate is something that I've added into another part of my arsenal in terms of analysis as well, especially when it comes to trading in terms of short-term wise, simply because funding rate is more... Uh, predominantly affecting the short term rate, especially when rate is extremely high or extremely low in either way, because people will be looking to close their short or long, and that will result in cascading kind of liquidation perspective. All right, otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.